mixed reactions as Nigerians across states dissect President Mahmoud Buhari's eight years administration from the north to south. Respondents say the administration performed below expectations. However, they hope the new administration will impact positively. May 29, Nigeria transits into a new government. The demands have not changed from those tabled before the outgoing government of President Buhari. Residents of Yenegua in Bayelsa State tell the president-elect to fix the east-west road, security, health system, education, among others. East-west road, um, there were budgets that were released to fix the road, but up till now, the road is not yet fixed. And it's a major road that connects a lot of states together and all that. I think uh, the incoming government should do something about it to put that road in place so that um, there can be transportation, easy movement of people, goods, and all that. They blamed the outgoing administration for the hike in price of foodstuff. He failed in some aspects. Okay, for the incoming government, the, the, in as much as they are coming from the same party, but I know even two brothers cannot actually behave the same way. But they, I'm begging you, Tinibu, if you want me to kneel down, I will kneel down. I'm begging you in the name of God, whatsoever you hold so dearly, you see this Nigeria that is about to, that is at the verge of collapsing, don't collapse it. They made a lot of promises when coming into office, in the area of security, job, employment, education, even if there are a lot of areas they, did, they didn't do right. think this incoming government will also do the same. So I don't really expect much from them. They should just do their part and leave office. I would say this government failed all of us. If I'm to give them a pass mark, it should be like 10 over 100. Because what they promised us when they came in, they promised us a change. And that change, we never experienced any change, any positive change. Actually, there was a change but it was a negative side that we all experience as Nigerians. From the look of things, we, are, we, are, we've all, we have become ants of Africa. They've been suffering, people, the health sector is suffering, the academic sector, what, just name it. You say institutional by the government, you know, you can, you can clearly see that their visions and what they promise us, they didn't fulfill any of them. And uh, I would say this is, a, this is the bad and the worst Administration we have experienced in this country. In Kaduna State, residents expressed disappointment in what they termed bad policies of the outgoing government. Again, in this month, he has to gather money for him to buy his nomination form or whatsoever. They voted for him with their blood. But along the road, this government disappointed us. They made the people to have hope, which has turned to hopeless. People have been agitating. People have been seeing Buhari as the only messiah of this planet Earth. But when Buhari came to power, he didn't do anything. So to me, if you want to talk about this government, this government has done nothing. They have failed the people woefully. They promised Nigerians that a bag of rice will be sold at the rate of even 5,000 naira, and then Nigeria will be entitled of some allowances, they didn't meet up the expectation of Nigerians. And what I would like to say again for the incoming government, if they can be able to work on the lapses of the outgoing president or administration, they can really, really meet up what Nigeria wants. If you ask me, sir, to be frank with you, in my opinion, Barry record zero achievements. Yes. This one, uh, from the coming government is a total reformation of, I mean, all sectors. Okay? We expect them, I mean, total reformation in all sectors. Residents in Kano say the Buhari government came with a lot of promises, especially with his change mantra, which they say haven't been fully fulfilled. One issue that I can say, yes, there is um, achievement is the issue of diversification of the economy. We now shift from the uh, mineral sector to um, the agriculture I remember the previous statement, the outgoing statement he made, he said, we grow what we eat, 
we eat what we grow or we die. So that's just maybe like a statement of maybe encouragement, but I know it might sound somehow to some people. So my expectation is not that huge, but you know Nigeria is full of nepotism, you understand? So the issue of unemployment, I can still, I'm reiterating on this more. So the issue of unemployment is still paramount. So I'm thinking this incoming administration, since the incoming president of Nigeria, um, Bola Ambetinumbu, he says he's for the youth, so I hope maybe he might, yes, give the youth what they want, that is employment. I will say that this government failed in the area of stabilizing the economy because prices of goods and services continually skyrocketed without stabilization. The Naira redesign policy of the outgoing administration was the worst for me because the lack of cash made me lose my wife at the hospital when she was seriously ill. My prayer is that the incoming administration of Bola Tinubu will stabilize the economy and make life better for Nigerians. Uh, as a Nigerian, we are expecting a better Nigeria and a greater development from the previous government. But um, right now, what we see for the past eight years was not suitable for us. And the business strategies now, everything has become so devastated that we cannot even endure. Uh, to my own point of view, in the business I'm into, every price has gone higher than before. Before the interior government came in, the prices were very low, but now the prices were high and you buy things more expensive than you do to buy before. And... Lagos residents share mixed feelings and hope the new administration will do better in improving the lives of Nigerians. President Mama Dubuare actually did it best. You understand, we commend him for the things he done. But you know, in terms of security, he didn't actually do it because we expected more from him because he's a retired general. I know the security, uh, the, uh, security situation of Nigeria is better than before when PDP was in power because we know we can't go to churches, you'll be scared, we can't go to public places because of bomb blasts and all that. But all those issues, we don't have those issues now. But we still expected more from him because there are some new challenges that comes up in terms of security. We are looking forward to this uh, Bola Tinubu administration. We expected him to address those areas that President Mama Dubuare has not really done away. Did I just hear you say education? No. Because students in university have dropped out for more than one year. And that one, I'm pretty sure everybody have heard about it. Security, people in North are dying every day by day. Boko Haram bandit, in Ibo land, everywhere, everywhere. Imagine someone like me now, I have school qualification, but I don't have work. And all that people have so, but they don't have work. Even if you have school qualification, even if you go to work, they will not pay you well. Imagine he said 30,000 naira as basic, but some companies are not paying. And nobody cares to ask if companies are paying well. Fuel is keep on increasing. So I pray for Bola Ahmed Tunubu, God will bless him and he will do well. He said it's easy. If it's possible to try you for like 10 days or 100 days to see how it feels, it's not easy. It's easy to take a horse to the stream, but it's not easy to force the horse to take water. It's possible he will tell them, this, 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 is that because he's hearing all the complaint of all, everybody. So it's not possible everybody will be complaining, the country will be on fire and it will keep quiet and be sitting there. It's not possible. He's trying. He has tried his best. As the administration of Bola Ahmed Tinubu gets on stream, Nigerians expect that naming a well-qualified cabinet who all cohere around a common development vision should be a priority for Tinubu as it will send a very strong and positive signal. Paul George Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.